happened? What kind of place is this? Maybe I'm dead. I can't see any light. I might be dead. I can't get up. What's going on here? What's happening to me? There's no one here. Yet, these noises... God, my head is killing me. I can't keep my eyes open. The only thing I remember clearly is Charlotte, my doll.
mummy took good care of Charlotte. She tucked her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and I was amazed. I did not understand. At first, I was quite afraid. I feared that she wanted to hurt me. I was constantly expecting the moment when Mum would abandon her. Because I did not deserve to live. I did not deserve to be loved. It's cold. It's dark. Now she's cold. She'll get ill. We can take care of her. It's not forbidden. Charlotte is a good girl. Those lamps might make the room warmer, but Charlotte's uncomfortable. She doesn't feel well. This is a comfortable place for Charlotte. But it's cold. No, no, it's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. The cold goes away, you see? The light. Warmth. We can do it. The cold goes away. It's not forbidden. Now we can go to that ward where everything started. It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor.
One day I turned off the light, but it didn't go dark. It was a limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. I was 16 and I was afraid, always afraid, a fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I could not speak. Everything terrified me, even thinking. They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away, where I would get better. I stopped living in there. They dragged me away and tore off all of my clothes, every last stitch. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed for days. Alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. She was my only hope in this hell. I was falling down amongst the damned, but that woman and her smile kept me alive. <laughs> 